Now in this lecture we're going to look at some very common chemical reactions. So let's begin. Let's look at a combination reaction. Now a combination reaction is exactly what the name implies. Two or more reactants combine by forming bonds to form a new compound with a new molecular formula. Now let's look at our hypothetical example. In our example we have two reactants A and B react combine to produce a new product, a new compound, namely AB. Now let's look at a very common example. Whenever one mole of solid burns with one mole of diatomic oxygen in the gas state, it produces one mole of carbon dioxide in the gas state. Now this is a very common combination reaction. And note that this triangle on top of the arrow means that heat must be added for our reaction to occur. That's what this triangle means. It doesn't mean change, it means energy, heat. Now let's look at a very common second type of a chemical reaction known as decomposition reactions. Now decomposition reactions are essentially the reverse of combination reactions, where in combination reactions two reactants combine in decomposition reactions, a reactant decomposes or dissociates into two or more uh, new compounds. So in our hypothetical example, we have reactant AB breaks down or decomposes into two new products, A plus B. Now let's look at a very common example. Now the hydrolysis of water or the decomposition of water. In other words, two water molecules or two moles of H2O in a liquid state react to produce one mole of O2 in a gas state and two moles of diatomic uh, H2 in the gas state. Now let's look at a third type and a fourth type of chemical reactions, namely single and double displacement. <coughs> now single displacement reactions are also known as substitution reactions and double displacement reactions are also known as metathesis reactions. So let's look at a single or substitution uh, chemical reaction. So A plus B or AB plus C. What happens is that the bond between A and B is broken so B dissociates from A forming its own reactant while C combines with A displacing this B so basically C kicks out our B and forms a bond with A forming AC plus B and this is a single displacement reaction or substitution reaction. Now a very common example is when two moles of hydrochloric acid in an aqueous state react with one mole of magnesium solid, <coughs> this produces one mole of MgCl2 in the aqueous state and one mole of diatomic H2 in the gas state. So this is a single displacement reaction in which our Mg kicks off this H forming our reactant and this H combines with another H forming a diatomic gas. Now let's look at a double displacement or a metaphysical reaction. Now we have reactants A and B react with reactants C, D. What happens now is our C displaces this B, kicks off this B forming a bond with A and at the same time this B kicks off this C forming a bond with D. And what we get is the following or an example of this is the following. Now notice what happened. This hydroxide in our first reactant kicked off this SO4 molecule, forming a bond with H and forming our first product, our water molecule. Likewise, this K molecule bonded with the molecule that got kicked off, this SO4. So this SO4 molecule at the same, at the same time kicked off this OH or replaced this OH and bonded with H and we got K2SO4. So this is an example of a metathesis or a double displacement reaction. Now the last type of reaction we're going to look at is called a combustion reaction. And in this reaction, hydrocarbons are burned in the presence of diatomic gas or diatomic oxygen gas to form carbon dioxide and water molecules. Now a common example is burning of methane. CH4, where our X is 1 and Y is 4 in the presence of oxygen and heat, remember this triangle symbol, symbolizes heat, to form carbon dioxide and water molecules. 
Now, other types of reactions exist. Let's look at some of them. Redux reactions or oxidation reduction reactions in which the oxidation states of atoms change. Acid base reactions, hydrolysis reactions, and isomerization reactions are very common examples of some other types of chemical reactions. Now note that a certain reaction can be labeled as more than one. In other words, let's look at the following decomposition reaction. This decomposition reaction is also an oxidation reduction reaction because our O gets reduced or gets oxidized while our H gets reduced. In other words, in this molecule, our O has an oxidation state of negative 2, and here our O has an oxidation state of 0. So if it goes from negative 2 to 0, it's oxidized, while this guy goes from positive 1 to 0. So it's reduced, it gains electrons. So this uh, reaction is not only a decomposition reaction, but also a redux reaction. Likewise, let's look at this double displacement or a metaphysis reaction. Now notice this guy, we have a base potassium hydroxide react with this acid. That means this guy is not only a double displacement reaction or a metaphysis reaction, it's also an acid base reaction. Now let's look at the reverse of this guy. The reverse of this guy is actually a hydrolysis reaction because we have water that acts as a nucleophile displacing one of these molecules, forming our product. So if we go in the reverse direction, this way, this is a hydrolysis reaction. So the point is, reactions could be more than one. 